Hey guys, Richard here with Winged Flight Sim, and in this video, we are going to do a follow-up to our views video, and this is going to be part two to that, because in X-Plane, it's called Quick Look, there are up to 20 views that you can set, and the other 10 are on your joystick. And this video will make a lot more sense if you go back and watch our first views video. And so we're gonna show you how to set up views on your joystick. And it's coming up right after the intro. All right, we are back, and like I said, this is part two to our views video, and X-Plane calls it Quick Look. You can set up to 20 views in X-Plane, so 10 through your numbers pad, through your numbers keypad, and we're gonna show you how to configure views on your joystick, up to 10 of them. This one is a little bit more complicated with the numbers keypad. Half of the work is already preset for you with uh, from X-Plane, and so all you have to do is hit Control and then the number, and then you're good to go. With the joystick, it takes a couple of extra steps, and we're going to show you that in this video. Okay, so remember, when you set your numbers keypad to certain views, you can set it up to however you want, whatever views you want, interior, exterior, and then you just press the number that you set it to to get to your view. Okay, let's go back to the main cockpit view. And then we're gonna show you how to set up views within your joystick. And the first step is you're gonna go into your settings and go to keyboard settings and then either click on the views down here or you can click on the search command and type in views. I just find it easier to type in the search command. You may find it easier to click on the views, but you're gonna scroll down to your quick look menu. So right there's your quick look menu and scroll down a little farther and this comes preset. So you have two, you have two choices in your quick look. Go to save 3D cockpit location number four, number three, five, seven, up to 10. And then there is memorize cockpit location. So for your joystick, the first thing you're gonna do is go in and here's your options 11 through 19. So I've already got some set, so I'm not gonna mess with those. And then just click in the box and then whatever keystroke you want to use, I'm going to use control and then the left bracket for memorize 3D cockpit location number 11. The next step is you're going to go into your joystick settings and you're going to pick the button that you want to assign whatever view you want. And I'm going to pick button number 13 on my Thrustmaster joystick. Right now it's set to do nothing. We're gonna click edit and we're gonna go to type in views in the search. And then instead of memorize 3D cockpit view, you're gonna set it to save cockpit location number 11. So it's, it's gotta match the memory setting, the memory 3D cockpit location setting. So now we've got the memory set to control bracket, control plus the bracket, and then we're gonna set the joystick to, this is number 13, and we're going to set it to go to save 3D cockpit location number 11, and that's it and then you just pick your location. I've got some set, so there's one of them. And then we're gonna slide this over here. And I want this to be the other side cockpit view. And 
Let's get the engine in there. Nope, no room for that. So let's just zoom in a little bit. Okay, and then you're gonna do what you did with the original numpad. You're just gonna click Control, and then that's the left bracket, and you're done. Okay, let's go back to a couple of other views. And then we're just gonna go back to this button that we programmed right here. All right, well, that's it for this one. Now, it will make more sense. This video will make more sense if you go back and watch the previous views video that we did uh, several months ago. So um, go back and watch that one, and then this one will make much more sense. So. Like I said, that's it for this one. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and smash the bell so you don't miss a Wing It Flight Sim video. I'm Richard. Thanks so much for watching. And until the next one, we'll catch you on the flip side. We are out. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And that's it. Shut up. <laughs>